your account and to get some routes downloaded as well as many people ask me either via Facebook or via YouTube how to do this so I am going to show you guys tonight okay the first thing that you need to do is you need to go on to the Yahoo group called ATCS monitor and sign up onto this group and basically once you give them a brief description of what you want to do with ATCS monitor and after you are approved go onto the group go to files go to application go to ATCS Mon 410. This is the full install or upgrade package for people that had it, you know, many years ago. You would click this, download it, and once you bring it up, welcome to ATCS Mon Setup Wizard. Next, next again. Next, once again, and this will actually make its own folder. Yes, create a desktop item. Yes, next. And basically, obviously, since I already have it on my computer, I'm not going to bring up another account. But I'm going to hit cancel. But if you hit next, it'll bring up a little window right here. You would click that, and it would pop up. Basically, whenever you first set up an account, like all of the windows here in the windows section would be foreground the foreground color here would be black this would be white the first thing I would do is switch these around from foreground color to white background color to black and the same with these two foreground color here was originally black I made it white and the background color here was originally you know white I made it black and the same with this the foreground color under packet display was black I made it white and under background color I made it black here you would hit oh you would hit first apply first to make sure that saves and then you hit hit OK and the next thing I would do options just make sure uh, if you go on to display your station colors indication now what it means by indication is see here I have my Altoona PA server up I host it you see these indications and in the original when you originally install the program the indications would be red but if it make it if it's, it's a lot easier to see if they are green so I would change the indicator color to green for both indicator and lock they would both be green and control I would change that to the yellow I forget what the original color is change it to yellow and this right here this cancel that this right here reset clear grounds using occupancy blocks only this is checked off when you first download the program uncheck it along with right here when it says when resetting station names due to inactivity also clear indications that is originally checked off uncheck it hit apply and that saves it you hit OK and OK the next thing that you would do go back to files under data files now this is where as you can see it has it has the railroads has Chicago area but also has the railroads like Kansas City Southern Metro Montana Rail Link Amtrak Indiana Harbor Belt Union Pacific TRRA Metrolink CP BNSF Norfolk Southern CSX well CSX really doesn't have much ATCS anymore CN I am going to download a NS route you would click that I would go under I'm, I'm just gonna just to do this as an example Pocahontas district and you click you know just check the date you know see this was made four years ago I was told there actually is a patch for the Pocahontas district in the works happening 
So you click this, and it originally, see it's downloading right now. And you, you open it once it's done. And it has, see, see this route has more than one layout. L-A-Y stands for layout, which is basically this right here. This is the layout of any screen that you, actually any file that you download. So you go back to here, select these, select all of these, right click, copy, go to your desktop, right click, go to paste, and see it pasted all those files that I originally had in this folder. They're all here now. Now I'm going to download the Pocahontas District layout file, as you can see. So I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to just check them all over here. See, this is the one I want. So right-click, copy, and go to the ATCS window. Obviously, your screen is going to look a little different to this, but if you go to Options, Display, Browse, it, all your layouts would be here. The only one that, when you first download the program, would be the Metrolink Orange Subdivision. So what you would do is right click, paste. See now it has NS Pocahontas uh, Division Pocahontas District Lay. Click that. Hit OK. Now this will pop up at first. It look, looks a little bit of it looks a little gibberish right now. Obviously since you're not you're not done with the program, go back to here. Go to configure. Go to MCP information. Now this is all the information that, like, all the information coming from the server, like all the stuff that has to be downloaded in order to get it to work right. So if if you only downloaded, just say one program, and as you can see here, the only one that pops up is NS Pocahontas Division All MCP. Click that. Now let it import all that information there, and you'll go from there. This might take a moment. Actually, while that does that, go down to go back to your desktop, and if you check out, there is a little document thing here. Uh, it, sometimes it's either a little notepad thing when when you download everything from that from this folder right here. There's either there's either a folder with a little wrench or a screw symbol, or a notepad symbol. See, it says text document here. Open that up. And right at the top here, Internet Server, it has the data server information here. So what you would do is highlight this from ns-virginia.dyns.org. Right-click, copy. Now oh, see, this is done. So you hit close there. Open this back up again. Go to configure, options data source now you would hit add now the first thing you do is copy it you would paste this information into the IP address or host name now go back to that document you see it says port 495 you would just click the number you wouldn't don't copy the port 4795 just do the four numbers right click paste enable you check this off you hit OK and I'm going to just minimize this. You hit OK. The, the next thing you do is file. Save profile as. I'm just going to make it Pokey. You know, for NS Pocahontas District. Okay, now I'm going to open the file. And see right here it says Pokey. Left, no, double click it. And now everything here pops up. Obviously, you know, if you have a better map, it'll pop up a little bit better. But as you can see how it looked before, it was all gibberish after I imported all that MCP information. Now the names of the interlockings are here. You know, there's a couple that work on this particular line. I didn't have this on my computer, so that's why I did that. Basically, that is it with this uh, to download all the information, like I said. So basically, after you download everything like I said if you go to file load profile I have several routes in here already see pokey pops up 
Just say you wanted to download another route, like I said, you would go to, just say I'm on the BNSF uh, screen, the Chicago sub screen, you know, just download here. I will do it for you to show you once again. See, this is downloading right now. Once it's done, see it's done. Open. See, there's only four documents here. It's a smaller profile, basically. Copy. I'm going to get rid of these windows here. I don't need them. Recycle bin. Recycle these down. And right click. Paste. See, BNSF, like I said before, sometimes will get you a little screw symbol or nut symbol or just a little text document here. But see here, this pops up layout. And this one pops up with the MDP. It's either going to be MCP or MDB. Now that's for, that, that's the you know in, yeah, that stuff you have to import here. But right click here, copy, go to Pokey, configure options. That would be display, browse, and right click here. Obviously, I already have it up here, but I'll show you anyway. Yes, so I'm going. I'm going to replace the file just for the heck of it. Yes, open, and you hit OK. See, I already have these, so I don't need to worry worry about that. But like I said, I want to show you anyway. Now configure MCP information. Go to import desktop. Make sure it's on your desktop. It's a lot easier to find if it's on your desktop. See, the only one pops up. Ian is at Chill Coffee West. Click it, see nothing came out because I already have it in my computer. But then file, save as. Actually, make sure that uh, you, you, do, you go to. Let me close this really quick. Bring up that little configuration settings. Here, you just go, you have to go down a little bit here. But then you go to server address. See, left click. And then copy and you see it says 4827 so I'm going to do this all at once so I don't have to go back again let's see you configure options data source add right click that uh, I see obviously I pasted here now port number 4827 enabled check that off you hit OK here now, now the next thing you do, it has to just wait a couple seconds. Save profile as. Oh, I see. I'm gonna already do it. See, BNSF chill coffee stuff. I already have it, so I'm just gonna click on this, hit save, and it save it. Now, the one thing I would do, just in case you do several routes in, at one time, is depending on which route that you have up. I like just say I have the I have the BNSF. Chilkati sub up right now. Go to configure options data source. Now I'm going to shut off the IP addresses for both NS lines. I'm obviously I'm only on a BNSF screen, so it doesn't take as long to load the physical screen. I'm just going to hit save profile, and then I'm going to load this up. See BNSF Chilkati sub. See it pops up. You see all these pop up. See, like I said, it looks a lot better when it's physically green instead of it. Like I said, right here it's yellow, which means that the dispatcher just requested a signal at a particular interlocking, like like Manaka and Williamsfield. And see, every time it pops up the green, you know, you can check out the time. See, it it, it came up at 9:31. And 50 seconds. So every time it might go to, you know, light a light white color for maybe a second, and then go back to normal green. That means that the interlocking transmitted a signal to the server, and the server picked it up. See, it did it. That means that the interlocking is working as intended, and like I said, it's transmitting the HTTPS information to the server, the host server, and it's picking it up. See, well, watch this eastbound. He just knocked down one, the uh, 139.5 signal is coming up to Edelstein right now. We'll wait for him to hit that signal so to show you exactly what it looks like whenever the train trips the signal at Edelstein. Let's 
give it a moment. Like I said, this it's an interesting program, and it's legal to have. It's not something that is like, oh, I can't tell you exact. I can't show this to you. Obviously, you know, it's on a Yahoo group, and anyone can see it. But you know, it's a fun program to have. I mean, there's many. Uh, the the only way that these routes can be made is if someone who lives close to railroad tracks that have ATCS interlocking. Now, these interlockings are sometimes newer with newer style signals. These physically, you need to have radios and antennas on the roof of either your house or a place that can host a server, but you need a good internet connection. It could be Verizon DSL or any type of cable, and it pops up. You see right here, 139.5 came up. See this interlocking, the dispatcher. Oh, see, the, this train just went by the eastbound signal at Edelstein. So, like I said, it, that's how it looks on a screen. I mean, you won't see the physical train symbols, but you will see how it looks like on the actual screen. So you can see if there's anything lit through the area. Now, one thing also, this can be downloaded onto a Mac. It is a Windows-only program. But you could all, but you could actually buy a Windows tablet and install this program on there, and you could, you know, use the Wi-Fi off of your phone and look this information up. It is definitely worth to have. But if anyone has any information or to tell me or any questions to ask me, just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. Have a good day everyone and good luck.